One million ways to start edge highlighting, and this is one of them, explained in under four minutes. If you're just starting off, use colors going from least to most bright. So, for yellow for example, use colors like these. Base the armor panels in Averland's Sunset. Make sure the model is primed in a light primer like Wraithbone. Make sure the Averland is nicely thinned down. It will take a few coats to apply properly. Power of Habit has taught me to always test consistency on my glove. Other than this, nothing special. Base coat that which you are practicing on. I had to apply about three layers for full coverage. From here, we'll start edge highlighting. Take Aerial Yellow, we'll be applying this to all the edges. Explaining this will take a while and will be expensive. Make sure you are seated comfortable and that you have enough light. Apply the paint to a wet palette and unload your brush for more control. Now, angle your model in such a way that you can easily maneuver your brush into position. Use the side of your brush to apply paint to the other edge of the armor. You should be able to do this with any brush, as long as there is not too much paint in the bristles. Be gentle with your pressure. Let the brush do the work and take your time. Each time you load your brush, unload it so you can easier control how much paint you deposit. If you need extra stability, lean forward, press your elbows into your belly, place the brush at the tips on your fingers and use your fingers dexterity. And get your wrists together. This will help train your fingers for small movements. and use any free fingers to lean your brush hand onto the hand you are holding the model with. Now we need a sharp tipped brush, one that holds a little paint. Trace all the beveled edges on the armor with the tip of your brush. Do this by pressing the tip of the brush against the armor very gently. Follow the bevel ridge and take your time. You can always clean it with Averland and try again. Do this for all armor panels on the model. Next up, some general advice and expectation management. Do a first model with this technique. Practice is vital to understand what you need to do. Expect to fail. Hope to do better than your last model. Now we're going to brighten up the edges with Ice Yellow. Unload your brush before applying the paint. Start applying this to all the edges that would point to the sky, as these would be catching more light and thus be brighter. Simply use the side of your brush to apply these. And here's your reminder to turn and pivot the model to help you. A painting handle, regardless of the brand, will help you do this. Oh, and don't forget the chinks in the armor. When you get to the bevels on the panels, make sure you have a sharp tip. And leave a bit of aerial yellow to show. Basically put, you'll be layering your edge highlights. You can simply skip this step with any edges or bevels pointing towards the ground. Otherwise, continue this until you are satisfied. And the result should look a little like this. And now we round it up with a Vallejo Dead White. We will be applying this to all the sharpest edges. Unload your brush and let's apply it. Look for all the armor edges that have pointy bits. On these edges, use the side of your brush for application. And if you want, you can make tiny stars or dots 
on the cross sections of the panels. As with layers, you can apply multiple layers to amplify the color of the edges. And there you go, you've begun your edge highlighting journey. Please follow, like, favorite and share. Thank you so much.